Hey Warriors, Sergeant First Class Bites here. In this video, I will provide you with a current breakdown of pay in the National Guard for the ranks of E1 through E3. By the time you are in E4 or higher, you should fully understand how pay works in the National Guard. I'm also going to give you some bonus advice on how to make even more than your basic pay. So please watch the full video and go ahead and take some notes. Do me a favor and please subscribe. Over 80% of my viewers are not subscribed and I need your support tremendously. I am trying to educate our future military. I mean, what if North Korea attacks us? My videos didn't show up in potential recruits feeds because you haven't subscribed. So the YouTube algorithm didn't know to place my videos in their viewfinder. So our military isn't as strong as it could have been. North Korea takes over the US and your children or children's children end up speaking Korean all because you didn't subscribe. Just saying. All right, how the National Guard determines your pay is based on several factors. Rank, time in service, marital and dependent status. Pay goes up significantly as you advance through the ranks and gain time in service. In the National Guard, your minimum mandatory obligation is to drill one week in a month and attend two weeks of annual training during some point within a calendar year. You will also be required to attend basic combat training and advanced individual training. With that being said, I will provide you with a pay estimation for your drill weekend, two weeks of annual training, and monthly pay at basic combat training and advanced individual training. Although these calculations are an estimate, they will be very accurate. Okay, let's get into your pay. We will start with a brand new E1 and work our way up to an E3, and I will also discuss BAH, Basic Allowance for Housing. As you can see in this chart, an E1 with less than four months of time and service Time and service meaning from the day you enlisted to the present day will make $214 for their two days at drill. Annual training I've left blank because you will not attend annual training within the first four months of being in the service. You won't attend annual training until you've completed initial active duty training and you're a qualified soldier. Your active duty monthly pay will be $1,602. So if you attend basic combat training within your first four months of your enlistment and you are single, non-married, and an E1, you will make $1,602 per month. Your monthly pay will be broken down into a payment on the first of each month and a payment on the 15th of each month. You will get paid twice a month, so you will receive $801 every two weeks. Okay, pay for a single non-married E1 with more than four months, but under two years time and service, will make $231 for their two days at drill. Two weeks of annual training will be $809, and your active duty monthly pay will be $1,733. Where pay gets a bit tricky is if you have dependents. The Department of the Army provides BAH, or a basic housing allowance, on top of your monthly pay for you if you have dependents because they know that you have family back home that needs housed. Your personal housing is covered because you will be at basic training or advanced training living in barracks. However, your family still needs housing so the Army will provide you a housing allowance. Your housing allowance rates are computed using current median market rents and average local expenditures on utilities like electricity, water, sewer, and heating fuel in each local market area and will fluctuate as those costs change. So this means your housing payment will be different than another soldier who lives in a different city or state. Your housing allowance is based on your rank, zip code, and the current year. Use the link in the description to get your basic housing allowance calculation. As shown, all you have to do is put what year it currently is, the zip code from your home, your rank, and then hit calculate. It will then show your monthly allowance with dependents. When I break down the pay for an E2, I will give you an example of BAH in the breakdown. Keep watching. Moving on to an E2. An E2 will receive $259 for their drill weekend, $906 for their two weeks of annual training, and $1,942 per month during BCT and AIT. The E2 pay range doesn't change based on time and service. Remember, if you are married or have dependents, you will receive a basic housing allowance plus $1,942. Here's an example. Let's say you are a married E2 from Nashville, Tennessee. Your monthly base pay is $1,942. The basic housing allowance in Nashville for a married E2 is $1,950. So you will actually make $3,892 a month. I'm just taking the monthly base pay of $1,942 and adding the basic housing allowance of $1,950, which again equals $3,892 per month. Hopefully this is clear and understandable. If you have any questions about how to make these calculations or anything with pay in general, just shoot me a comment below and I will square you away. All right, let's talk about an E3. 
An E3 with less than two years time in service will receive $272 for their drill weekend, $953 for their two weeks of annual training, and $2,043 per month during BCT and AIT. Again, if you have dependents, you will receive a basic allowance for housing. Go to the link in the description to get your BAH calculation. Here's another quick example. Let's say you are a married E3 from Los Angeles, California, and you are at basic training. Like we just discussed, your monthly base pay is $2,043. The basic housing allowance for a married E3 from Los Angeles is $2,772. Add your monthly base pay of $2,043 plus your basic housing allowance of $2,772. Your monthly check will be $4,815. I hope this makes sense to you. If not, just shoot me a comment. I'll square you away. Here's the bonus advice I mentioned. In the Guard, you work one week in a month. You can increase the amount you make monthly tremendously if you attend college full-time while you're working one weekend a month. The Guard will cover your college tuition, plus pay you the Montgomery GI Bill. The GI Bill is currently $392 a month. The Guard sends that to your bank account each month and you can use the money however you deem fit. So let's say you are an E3. You make $272 a month for your one weekend a month drill. If you go to college full-time, you will also receive the $392 per month. So you're only working one week in a month, but you're making the $272 plus $392. That's $664 a month, and you're only working two days. That's $332 a day. That's almost $42 per hour. But guess what? There's a way to make even more than that, though. Please like the video and comment below if you want me to elaborate more and explain to you how to even make more than that. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe and become part of the Bites Army. We are here to help future soldiers and support veterans. When, not if, but when my channel becomes larger, I'm going to use this platform to help soldiers and veterans beyond just making YouTube videos. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. This is Sergeant First Class Bites. I'm out.